Let's face it, it's very easy to become overwhelmed by all the choices in the makeup aisle. Not to mention thousands of influencers all telling you to buy something different. You spend money on all these beauty products that often end up collecting dust because they either weren't right for you or you have no idea how to use them together. First of all, don't worry, we've all been there. My name is Johnny Ross, a professional makeup artist for 10 years, and I'm here to show you how to put a makeup look together without the stress. Plus, later on in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to enter a giveaway. Ipsy was kind enough to part partner with me on giving away five year long Ipsy Glam Bag subscriptions. So let's break it down into three steps. Step one is selecting the products. But what if I don't know what products to select? Well, this is why I love Ipsy. They're the largest beauty subscription service in the United States that offers three different subscription types that can be incredibly personalized for you. It removes the guesswork and delivers customized cohesive products directly to you at an insane value. For instance, this month's Glam Bag Plus, which comes with five full-size products for $28 a month, is worth $223. If you'd rather start small, the Ipsy Glam Bag is $13 a month and comes with five deluxe size samples. So let's go ahead and see what's in our December Glam Bags as I show you how to put together a makeup look without the stress. First up in our Glam Bag, we have a Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. This is one of my favorite brow pencils of all time. Same with this mascara, I've used it for years. This is from Milk Makeup. This is the Kush Mascara in Blackest Black. Then a brand I've never tried before, Sophia and Maybelle. This is the Too Pretty Blush and Highlighter Palette in the shades Bubbly and and champagne toast. Also from Sophia and Maybelle, we have a watermelon slick fruit lip oil. And lastly, probably the most beautiful palette I've ever gotten from Ipsy from Trend Beauty. This is the Tempting Palette. This gorgeous warm tones. Look at these things swatched. It's unreal. I'm so excited to put a look together with this. And now for the Glam Bag Plus, we have a Kim Chi Chic Bronzer. This retails for $16. I love Kim Chi Chic Beauty. Another brand I've never tried, Pink Lips Cosmetics. This is the Soft Matte Primer. It almost feels like a smoothing pore filling primer, but super hydrating. And this retails for $18. Next up from a brand called The Feelist, this is the Juice Shot Exfoliating Face Polish. You know we exfoliate in this house, and this retails for $48. Next, we have from Tarte, I've never heard of this, the Quick Stick Waterproof Shadow and Liner Stick. One end is a stick eyeshadow, and the other end is a liner. This retails for $25. And lastly, from Kat Burkai, this is the Vitamin C Intensive Face Cream. And this retails for $116. Like what? For $28 a month, oh, let me just pick three of my products. I I'll take the $116 moisturizer, please. And as always, I always think the beauty products I get in my glam bag always has a color story or a theme that really works well together. Now that we have our product, step two is about finding your inspiration. And don't overthink it. We know we're working with a warm tone eyeshadow palette, so let's look up some golden winter makeup looks. So I'm incredibly inspired by this makeup look I found, so we're gonna use that for our inspiration. And now on to step three, which is about putting the makeup look together. So let's get started. So we wanna start by prepping the skin. Polished, well hydrated skin is the key to non-cakey, flawless looking makeup. If there's any texture on the skin, makeup is most likely going to enhance it, so we wanna make sure everything is smooth and hydrated. So after I cleanse my skin, I'm going in with this Feelis Juice Shot Smoothing Face Polish. To exfoliate any dead skin away, soften and nourish the skin so it's nice and baby smooth before we go in with moisturizer. And now I'm hydrating the skin with the Vitamin C Intensive Face Cream from Kat Burkai. You know, casual, this $116 cream. I love Vitamin C personally because it's great for toning down my redness. There is amazing anti-aging properties and we just want the skin to feel as hydrated as possible before we go in with our makeup. After the skin is prepped, I like to start with my brows and eyeshadow because it frames the face and really allows you to make inevitable mistakes on the eyes without messing up your complexion makeup. Now we have our inspiration, so let's take it step by step. Starting with a warm tone transition shade like this one will define the crease and make your eyeshadow look much more soft and blended. Buffing this into the crease and a little bit onto the brow bone to start creating that sunset blended look. I do want to add a little bit more pink into this transition, so I'm actually going to use the blush from the Too Pretty Highlight and Blush Duo. Do not be afraid to break the rules. Now with this deeper cool tone brown, we're going to start deepening up the outside corner of the lid. We're going to take a little bit of tape and give ourselves a foolproof guideline. Now you don't have to worry about making a mess. Deposit that brown and blend with a dense eyeshadow brush to add a little bit more smoke 
smokiness and definition. Doing the darker colors on the outside half of the eye will give the eye more lift. Now for the fun part, let's take this gold on our finger and place it on the inside half of the lid. I am blown away at the quality of this eyeshadow palette. Soften the edges with a fluffy brush to make sure everything is blended together. Now with our Tarte Quick Stick, let's use the liner to create a faux wing look. This is where the tape really makes blending a breeze without the hassle of a tricky liquid liner. After applying it, just buff out and blend the edges with a more detailed brush. Now remove the tape and behold the magic. Now for mascara, we're using the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara from our Glam Bag. Whether you only wanna wear mascara or go on and apply false lashes, I always apply mascara before lashes so the mascara wand doesn't pull on your lashes after they're applied. Applying your lashes with a paint on glue is the easiest way in my opinion. It dries clear and doesn't require you to be so precise. If you have hooded lids, make sure to tilt your head back while the glue dries. After about a minute, attach your lash band to the outside with tweezers, then the inside. Push up on the lash and make sure it's completely secure. Now we're going to prime the skin with the Pink Lips Soft Matte Primer. This feels really smoothing and nice. It's definitely filling the pores and smoothing the skin, but I also like that it hopefully will keep my T-zone mattified. Now for your base, let me introduce you to what I like to call the Holy Trinity. Your base, highlight, and contour. Three shades working together to add realistic dimension to the skin. Let me explain. For foundation, I'm just using a skin tint. Beautiful makeup doesn't need to feel heavy. Placing it on your skin first is the best way to avoid using too much and getting the best blend. Dipping your brush directly into the foundation will soak the bristles and prevent an even application and blend. Once your skin tint is blended, it is time for concealer. Applying a shade one or two shades lighter than your foundation will brighten up and highlight the under eyes. Just apply it where you need it. I immediately set it using a powder puff to smooth and blur the concealer to prevent creasing, and I think a powder puff does this the best. If you have mature skin, you can use just a little bit on a fluffy brush. Since I have combination skin, I like to set my entire complexion with a little bit of the same powder to prevent my oil from disturbing my foundation and causing it to come off, break up, and wear off throughout the day. Now that we've evened out the skin's complexion and brightened and highlighted under the eyes, it's time to add a little bit of warmth and structure into the face. Using the Kimchi Chic Bronzer, we're gonna apply this to the sides of the forehead, underneath the cheekbones, and underneath the jawline. This is where you really start to see the makeup come together, the holy trinity, a multi-toned complexion with highlights and shadows. Now for some color on the cheeks, we're gonna use the Sophia and Mabel 2 Pretty Highlight and Blush Duo with the shade Bubbly Blush. Having incorporated a little bit of this color into the eyes will really unite the eye look with the complexion. Now a little bit of the highlighter on the highest parts of the cheekbone to mimic the light illuminating and enhancing your bone structure. To finish up our under eyes, we're applying the same shade we used for our transition color to the lower lash line for definition. Since it's not a dark color, I'm applying it pretty much on the entirety of the lower lash line. Now I'm applying the dark dark brown shade on the outside half of the lash line with a detailed brush to frame the eyes and appear a little more lifted and sultry. Since our inspiration look had this, I'm going to do a little bit of black liner in the waterline with the Tarte Eyeliner. You can leave it bare for a little bit more of an open eye effect. Now a little bit of bottom lash mascara. Now for our lips, since we have a warm toned eye look, you want to pair this with a warm or neutral toned lip color. Avoid combining warm and cool tones together on the eyes and lips as they may not go together. Now we're topping off the lips with the Sophia and Maybell lip oil to add a little bit of that pink into it. Set your complexion with the setting spray to lock your makeup in place and enhance the look of hydration by making any powdery appearance really melt away. Now you can see how easy Ipsy makes it, curating a collection of products that work together and work for you. If you're interested in checking out Ipsy, there's a link in the description box where you can take a five minute quiz and get your own personalized glam bag. And now for the giveaway. If you are interested in entering, click the link in my description box and head over to my IG reel that has all the details and descriptions on how to enter to potentially win a year-long glam bag subscription from Ipsy. I'm Johnny Ross, the self-proclaimed Bob Ross of makeup. If you want more laughs and makeup secrets every day, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the little notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thank you so much for watching. Wherever you are, I hope you are happy, safe, and healthy. And remember, you're beautiful. Bye guys. Yeah.